Hey friends, so it's Tuesday, so I know that you are expecting a tutorial or a list video or something like that from me, but I'm going to change the program just a little bit, and I'm hoping that you're willing to embark on a little bit of an experiment with me. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, and I am here today to introduce to you my tutorial challenge for all of you out there in the audience. Before we dive in, of course, I just want to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultrapoy for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Okay, so I have something of an ambivalent relationship with social media. On the one hand, it makes my channel and my business possible. It makes it possible for me to get videos teaching you all out there how to spend poi into your uh, waiting little hands and eyes. But at the same time, social media also encourages some things that I really don't like uh, about our behavior online. It essentially involves setting incentives around the constant pursuit of attention. And our culture has kind of gotten to a point where it's been bent by those incentives to reflect the ways that people get information out there rather than necessarily the ways that it's most useful to people. So the classic example I can think of this is that in a lot of cases, if you've been to flow festivals in the past few years, then you'll know that in a lot of cases, the teaching lineup is not necessarily based around who in our community are the best teachers. In a lot of cases, it's based around who has amassed the best following online, which of course may have nothing to do whatsoever with how effective a teacher they are. And I think that in some cases that's good because it creates an audience for people that is and I think in some cases that's good because it creates an audience for people that is really tuned in to supporting them as artists as they're exploring the capability of their art. And in other senses, it's not so great because we advertise flow festivals as being a place that enriches people's learning. And in many cases, uh, people try and create educational content that may or may not help their audience, but we don't really have a good system of feedback in place to judge the merits of how these people teach at festivals or online. So, as somebody for whom teaching is basically the core of how I engage with my audience, I want to set up a new set of incentives. I want people out there to become better teachers. And this is how I want to do it. So. I'm going to try out for the next three months a tutorial challenge for each month. Basically the idea is, is that I'm going to have all you out there who happen to be watching this in the social media space, whether it is on YouTube or Instagram or what have you, uh, to go ahead and create your own lessons, to create your own tutorials, showing people how to do the trick that I am challenging you to teach. And what I want you to do is I want you to send me your tutorial. Uh, you could do so as like a private message on Facebook or Instagram or what have you, uh, or use my email address, drex at drexfactor.com. Uh, send me a link and show me how you would teach this particular trick. Now, I want you to get this into me by the 25th of the month so that I have time to go through all of the different videos that people send me and comb through them to find what I think is the most effective lesson in them. At the end of that month, I'm gonna do a little video where I point people towards your tutorial and I tell people, hey, this person is doing great work. You ought to check them out. Specifically, here's X, Y, and Z thing that they're, they're doing really, really well in this tutorial. And in that way, I can help y'all out by taking my audience and pointing them towards your content as well as encouraging people to become better teachers. Not only are those of you out there that are good teachers but may not have the audience that you want laboring in obscurity to try and get more exposure, uh, but also, you know, it creates one of those things wherein when people that are interested in becoming teachers see some of the good tutorials out there, it's going to give them ideas on how they can improve their own game in the process too. So, go forth and make videos. This month's trick is the windmill. I want to see 
all y'all out there giving me your best lessons on the windmill. And maybe the way that you teach a lesson will be centered around uh, what the student can see in the video. Maybe it'll be centered around a specific trick for learning it that you learned that not many people know of. And maybe it'll just be that you're really effective at getting information across and when it comes out in your voice, it will just be that effective. But either which way, I wanna see the creativity of all y'all out there. So pretty please, get those brainstorms going. Get those notepads running, get those storyboards plotted out, get those cameras rolling, and send me your tutorial on the windmill by no later than October 25th. And uh, at the end of the month, I will uh, be more than happy to let the wide world know the wonderful work that you are doing. And don't worry, I'm not going to abandon doing my own tutorials. I just want to encourage other people out there to do it as well. So you're going to get another tutorial from me next week that that hopefully will be uh, right in the category of awesomeness that you are used to from me. Also, do y'all have any feedback on this idea? Good idea, bad idea? Uh, are there other ways that we can encourage this kind of stuff? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you like the content that I'm producing and wanna see more of it, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Uh, that way you can guarantee that you are going to see my new content when it drops. And before I set you guys loose, I just wanna put out a massive thank you to all of my wonderful supporters on Patreon. They are the reason that this video and all the videos on this channel exist. Uh, if you would like to sign up to support the work that I do, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You will get access to some awesome exclusive content as well as early access to my videos and a vote in what content I pursue on this channel. It's a pretty good deal. So uh, go check that out and thank you all in advance.